Just going to throw in one last question for sort of a very short answer for all of you. You're all qualified to speak about this, and it's, it's on an infrastructure question. It's around the stadium, the football stadium. I'd love to hear from each of you why it represents good value for taxpayers. There you go. Go Could on, Could Troy Nigel, go first? <laughs> OK. <laughs> the, uh, it's been announced it's going to Bursville, and, I've, and th that decision has been made. I think, as the three of us here, the, the minister was a former champion full-back for the bustle to magpies. <laughs> the, uh, the main thing now that we all want to know, football lovers, is how local football are going to benefit. West Coast Eagles and the Fremantle Dockers, what are the financial outcomes? Uh, what are the walk-up uh, people can buy the tickets? Eagles have got 11, over 11,000 families in the wings called, could need another 25,000 seats. So we can take our membership up to 25,000. So there's a lot of things to be worked out. Where are we going to train? We need club facilities. It's a very good football club, West Coast Eagles. So I think we're all trying to work out. The three of us run a shamely very strong West, Perth, very uh, West stacked, yeah. Coast people. <laughs> and we're giving Mr Agnew a bit of advice about the midfield. So it's a matter of what is the deal for football. Football has to be prosper. We want to beat the Vicks and we've got to know the outcomes. Mark, go on. Let Mark go and then... <laughs> but Look, we... We need a solution, so that that we do need. Um, Subiaco Oval, as it currently stands, is just not a competitive ground by any Australian standard or world standards. I mean, you know, most people here would have been to Etihad. Um, we know what's happening uh, in Adelaide. So, you know, 42,000 people, we're growing at 3%. That means that even if we waited eight years, you'd need a a 50,000 seated stadium just to make up for natural growth. So my view is simple. Um, whether it's Slibiaco or, um, or at Burswood, it, it probably needs to be about 60,000 seats. Um, I congratulate the state government for what they're doing because it, it will actually make that precinct look and feel very different and, and effectively be a new gateway and redistribute the access to the city. But you know, Subiaco Oval is tight and it's now too small um, and that's not good for the public of a state that's done as well as we have. So, you know, I'm not sitting on the fence. I'd, we've waited a long time. It would be good to basically have an outcome, whether it's a revamped Subiaco or, um, or Burswood. But, you know, I think the bottom line is it will be a six to eight year outcome, uh, whatever happens. So. And, and Troy, before we go to Q and A from the floor, oh look, Mark. I, I mean, when we came to government, we had to push the stadium back. You know, we made a decision to build the children's hospital first, and then we build the stadium. Uh, we were criticised for doing that. I think it was the right thing to do. Um, and there's been a lot of investment in a whole range of uh, social infrastructure uh, across the state. And it's time for us to get a new stadium. And um, my person or my fi uh, feedback from the public is, people have moved on from worrying about where it's going to be built. That, exactly. I think that argument's been done. Uh, all people want to know now is when it's going to get built uh, and how we're going to look after it. And I think one, what we need to focus on now is how we build it to make sure we get good value for money for the taxpayer. But what we have to also focus on is how we look after the thing. Because one of the big problems at Subi is uh, it was never maintained properly. And if you have, a, if you have a, uh, an operational model where you've got to come back to government every few years to get a few million bucks to keep it up to scratch, then that's a challenge as well. So we've got to now move on and get value for money, get it built, uh, get the Eagles in there in uh, 2000. Um, there'll probably be another team playing there as well, Nigel, but it slipped my mind. 